What's up guys? About to go hit a chest and try day. My roommate had the idea to mix icy blue raz with pineapple, so that's what I'm doing. It's green. About to give you guys a quick little taste test to let you know how it is. I wouldn't suggest it, but it's not bad. <laughs> Um, Icy Blue Raz is significantly better here. I'm going to let my roommate give you a try. I'll film his reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely go either. Yeah. E either or for sure. I mean, we both like pineapple and Icy Blue Raz. I think we have a consensus though that Icy Blue Raz is better. Would you say that? He likes pineapple better. I like Icy Blue Raz better. So there you go, guys. Either have them separate, don't mix it too, even though the color is awesome. About to go hidden and chest and tries, like I said, going for a new PR today. Wish me luck. Try to get some footage for you guys. Talk to you guys soon. What is up, guys? So, I told you guys I was going to get a new PR today, and I did not. I started off 135, then went to 185, 195. 205 and then I tried 215 not once but twice and uh, I embarrassingly had to do the uh, crawl of shame where you push the bar off of yourself and slide out from underneath so um you know I, I really thought I had it uh, especially the second time you know I I even got it past my normal sticking point and it still came back down so um I have confidence that I'm gonna get it soon but I'm going to give myself a couple more weeks of training to go back after it. I am in a caloric deficit, so um, you know that could be part of the reason. But I've been getting stronger in my other lifts, so I'm not going to say that is the reason. I'm going to say it was probably just uh, poor programming on my part. So I'm going to uh, reprogram. Um, I was planning on reprogramming anyway, but uh, you know I I tried the five three one. Helped out my squat, helped out my overhead press, um, and my deadlift and bench didn't improve. But um, you know, it was it was interesting. I like training compound movements with lower uh, volume anyway, so I'm probably going to continue to do that. Anyway, guys, I want to talk real quick about the importance of failing. Um, basically, if you never fail you're never going to accomplish anything of worth because if say I had gotten this PR today you know why not go for a new PR next time and if I kept hitting a PR every single time it would never it would never amount to anything but you know failing is going to drive me to push myself harder in my next few workouts because you know um, I think I've shared this with you guys, but my goal for June 1st is to have one plate in the shoulder press, which I did the other day. I hit 135. Two plates in the bench, three plates in the squat, and four plates in the deadlift. So I'm 25% of the way there, and the closest one for me right now is the bench press. You know, I want that 225. I'm 20 pounds away, and I really thought that if I hit 215 today, you know, maybe even by the end of the school year I could have hit 225 but so I had a minor setback today but um, you know that just means that when I do hit this 225 I'm gonna appreciate it that much more you know the last time I had a, a one rep max PR in the bench press was the end of February and the next time I go for a one rep max in the bench press will probably be the end of April. So it'll be two whole months before I do finally hit that next PR. And it's going to make it feel that much better. Like I know it's going to. Um, so don't be afraid to fail sometimes. You know, um, you saw in my last video or two videos ago when I hit 285 on the squat. The first time I tried it, I didn't get it. Um, and that was a really important motivator in the rest of that workout and also what I noticed today is I was so sure that I was gonna hit this PR today and I failed and I was really angry and I killed the rest of my workout I was pushing weights that I never did I've never had before in all the other movements I was doing weighted dips with uh, 30 pounds which I've never done 
weighted dips before anyways and I was doing them for like sets of eight so um you know it, it ended up driving a great workout and you know I'm excited about reprogramming and everything so failing is important if you guys aren't trying things that are out of your comfort zone enough that you're gonna fail then you're not really trying anything of worth in my opinion um, and I think a lot of people would agree with me there what is up guys it's Nick Boletto bringing you guys a back day today was my speed day so I was did five sets of three um, at 225 pounds on the deadlift uh, really just working on good form and pulling this uh, weight as fast as I could. This is about 60 or 65 percent of my max. So, um, you know, I didn't really want to work with anything too heavy because my knee is still bothering me a little bit, but it felt fine doing this weight. So, uh, yeah, guys, just stuck uh, with three sets at, or five sets at three reps at 225 and just pulling as fast as I can while maintaining good form. Um, right before this video, I had watched uh, Elliot Hulse's corrective deadlifting video, so I was really focusing on my form, trying to keep my head and spine and butt all aligned. Um, you know, I, th I think I did pretty well on these. I like the form. Um, the weight started to get a little heavy in the last set or two. Um, which these are the third and fourth sets that you're seeing. So um, overall, though, very happy with that. And next up, I did some weighted pull-ups. Um, I just did three sets of as many reps as I could get. Uh, this is the first set I did with 25 pounds. Then I went to 12 and a half, and then I did body weight. Um, just nice and controlled pull-ups, trying to make sure that I'm using my lats and not my biceps. And the rest of the routine was what you guys saw in one of my last videos. I think it was my last video. Basically just uh, close grip rows, then one arm cable rows, lat pull down. Um, and then I threw some biceps at the end, just some hammer curls and some alternating dumbbell curls. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Remember to subscribe.